Okay. That's a little loud. Let's, you guys can see this here. Move it, get it into frame. All right. What's up, guys? Jason here, the Minto Show. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for being a subscriber. All right, guys. So it is the 11th of July, and I am probably the last person ever to get a new Traeger. We bought a Traeger, guys. We wanted to, I wanted to kind of get into this um, smoking of meats. I thought it'd be kind of fun. Um, with my new diet, uh, I always try to have like a really nice cut of meat for dinner. So we already have a grill, I have a Blackstone, but I um, thought it'd be cool to jump in to the Traeger world. So here we go. Um, disclaimer, I have no idea about any of this. I'm just learning as I go. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the model we got. This is the Traeger, I think it's the Pro 22. Uh, there was a national sale going on and I got it at Home Depot and uh, it was 389. So, um, you know, it's kind of like, I think it's like an entry level model. It's like one of the cheapest ones. It's kind of like an older version, I think. Um, it doesn't have the whole fancy control panel, I guess. So it's a little bit, uh, a little bit dumbed down. So uh, I just couldn't believe how much some of these were going for. I saw some online, they were up to like $1,500. So I just was not gonna spend that kind of money. So this is what I got. We, uh, last night uh, we did the painstaking uh, uh, install, which I, it was really fun. Uh, it was a fun install. Um, the directions were hilarious. Um, not sure, I'm sure you guys maybe already had a Traeger, but I would love how the directions were. It was like step one here, and they show a six pack right here. So I guess it's step one, you should be one beer in, and step two, you should be two beers in. It just goes on and on and on. But uh, I got a kick out of that. I, I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, how, how you uh, just kind of go through the whole six pack during the install. So. Kudos to Traeger for that. I thought that was pretty cool. I had a nice little laugh with that. But um, yeah, so this will probably be kind of a multi-part video. Just kind of wanted to show it to you guys. I'm gonna do the first fire tonight. Uh, you gotta season it. So I'm gonna follow the instructions and season it. But uh, I just wanna quickly, I, mean, I, have no, I knew nothing about this stuff. I'm just kind of a beginner, a novice. Uh, so I was just going off of recommendations. Um, from the salespeople and a lot of my friends. And uh, my friend, uh, Ben Benjamin at work, he gave me a lot of recommendations. Uh, my buddy Chris uh, gave me some recommendations. Uh, my buddy uh, Ford, Alvarado, all, my, all, all the guys just kind of give me tidbits of information. So let's just talk about a few things. So the guy at Home Depot that where I bought it from, he, he only said to get two, two things that were really important. These little disposable, I guess, grease traps that go on the side, that uh, hang here on the side. Uh, he told me to definitely get these. And the other thing he said to get, and we'll go inside here. Um, this silver part down here, he was uh, showing me that Traeger actually makes these like special, like cutout ones. You know, it has a Traeger logo. Um, I'm, I, I just, uh, I, I couldn't do that. I just, I just didn't. I thought that was, was way too much money uh, trying to do that. So he said, yeah, just use aluminum foil, same thing. It just seemed like, it, I guess it's real nice and fancy to have Traeger ones or cut perfectly, slide them in, but I, I can do the same thing with aluminum foil. So um, let's go ahead and, and bring in a few other things uh, that my friends told me to get. Um, the first thing they said you're definitely gonna need are meat claws. So these are from Alpha Grillers. Um, I don't know. I just saw those on Amazon. It was like a you know good deal. It was how they recommended. So I got some meat claws. Um, I was also recommended to get a like uh, thing that creates more smoke. Uh, so this is a I guess it's by Liz Liz Q. It's a pellet smoker tube, 12 inch. So I guess you. Uh, you put pellets in there and I guess it creates more smoke. Uh, so yeah, that was a recommendation. So I'll leave a link below for all this stuff. And everybody told me to get some uh, butcher paper. 
So I got a nice big roll of butcher paper, probably to last me the rest of my life. Uh, but yeah, that's what I got. Um, I think we have some, but some people also recommended some spray bottles to like spray um, maybe apple cider vinegar or you know something on your on your meats. And the last thing is um, the pellets. Now, guys at work that, that do this were telling me to get this company called Bear Mountain. This is, this is Bear Mountain. This is the one I got. I got apple. So, um, got this on Amazon too. Came right to the house. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so tonight we'll do our first fire. And uh, I guess you got to take a bunch of this stuff out from inside of it. And then we'll do the first fire. So, just want to kind of show you guys, you know, what I'm getting into now. So, if uh, any of you are watching this or are really into this, maybe put below down some recommendations. Any, any, tidbits or anything for me that would help me not get frustrated uh, but I think we're just gonna have fun with this and uh, you know maybe run it on Saturdays where we're out doing wood and splitting wood or housework and just let it run and you know have a nice dinner so all right guys so let's uh let's get it hooked up and then we'll start the seasoning process so here we go all right guys so this is seasoning your grill first thing we got to do now that we have it all installed Per the instructions, now we have to take a bunch of stuff out. And it's mostly everything right here uh, so we can season it. So we'll go ahead and take everything out so we can season it. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, this big silver, I guess, catch pan. This thing was like really oily. I guess uh, in the manufacturing process. And then the last part, I guess, is kind of like this some kind of shield okay and that's it that part's out all right guys so um really not sure where i'm going to keep this i might just keep it in my garage and then wheel it out when we want to use it that way i don't have to spend an extra 80 dollars and get a cover but if you guys have any cover recommendations for it please let me know i just don't want to like let it sit now because it'll get It'll get all uh, probably destroyed by the weather. So there we go. That's part two. We have it plugged in. And uh, we're just going to keep rolling on here. Looks like the next thing we got to do is uh, we got to load the hopper. This is what the hopper looks like. Now it does say in here for best results, use genuine trigger wood pellets. Now I guess we'll see about that, whether that's a selling feature just for them to get their you know, do them to buy their pellets or not. I don't know. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll fill it up. All right, that's pretty full. Real nice. All right guys, so they want us to turn it on now. We wanna make sure it's set to smoke. There's smoke, looks like we're good. So we're gonna turn it on. Now it's starting to make some noise, okay. Now it told me to look. And we gotta see if pellets are coming out. I can see the auger in there turning. It turns very slowly. Okay. All right, guys, so it wants us to check and make sure there's airflow coming. Make sure there's air coming. Yep. Fill my fingers. Good there. All right, now it wants us to turn the dial to high. So it looks like we have to go the whole way to high. Okay. Once it's a turn it down to high, once pellets begin to fall into the fire pot, the auger is primed. So right now we're just waiting for the pellets, I guess, to get over here to the fire pot. Once we see that, we have to turn it down to shut down. 
to reset the ignition process. So it's saying during the initial charging of the auger, it will take uh, two to four minutes, I guess, for the pellets to move from here to here. All right, guys, so it does want us to eventually here place the heat baffle, grease, strip tray, and grill grates back into the grill, but uh, it's kind of skipped ahead of like one step because, I mean, I just want to make sure, you know, they're falling in there. Um, <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell once you have it all covered up, so I'm just going to wait till I see them and then go down to the shutdown cycle and then I'll put that all that stuff back in. All right, guys, I think I actually see the first pellet. Let's see what she drops in there. There it goes. Oh man, I see him. Hey! Two more are gonna drop. There we go. All right guys, so now we have them in there. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the shutdown cycle. So that's down here. We wanna go the whole way over. Shut down. All right, guys, so it's, it's in a shutdown process, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall everything here. And once we get all this installed, we'll go ahead and I guess fire it up on high. We're supposed to go for 45 minutes. Okay, last part. All right, there we go. Okay guys, so we are completely cool on the shutdown. It looks like it all went away. So I'm really not sure if I just go, if I leave it on, go right to high. Oh, there it goes, yep. So we need to go to high for 45 minutes. So it should all start up and we should start to see some kind of smoke. Um, like a white grayish smoke come out here. So we're gonna wait for that. It's gonna take a couple minutes for it to light. And then we'll do our, uh, our uh, you know, our seasoning part for 45 minutes. So here we go. All right, guys, I'm not sure if you can see that. Can you see it? Can you see the smoke? We got smoke. All right, so we're gonna let it sit for 45 minutes. And then it'll be seasoned, so. All right, guys, so we got done our 45 minute seasoning. Um, I just came out about 15 minutes ago. Uh, the timer went up the 45 minutes. So I went down and I turned it to shut down. And then it, uh, I think it ran probably for another 10 minutes or so. And uh, now it's all cool. So it's all done. We got it all seasoned. You can kind of take a look in here. But. Uh, yeah, I guess, uh, man, it smells really good in here. Wow. But, uh, yeah, it went really well. Um, it did what it, the direction said. And we saw the smoke when it first started. There was, like, a lot of smoke. But, um, yeah, I think we're good to go. So uh, I guess we'll just close out the video here. And, um, and then we'll bring you guys back in on our video once we do our first cooking on it, which maybe, hopefully be this weekend. Uh, I might just start with like some chicken breast or some salmon and uh, I got a really nice butt roast I'm going to cook. I got from Elysium Farms in Berlin, Maryland. Uh, they do a lot of farmers markets with us and, uh, and he said that's the best uh, cut for smoking. So yeah, so yeah, really overall really happy. I uh, got it all seasoned and we're ready to go. So okay guys, so that's it. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being a subscriber. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.